So what is house hacking? You may have heard this term in the news, or it might be completely new to you. So today I'd like to explain to you a little bit about house hacking. So house hacking is when you buy a home or a condo and you decide to hack by renting out one or more of the additional rooms that you're not staying in. Now, this might seem a little bit scary and maybe it's a little bit odd, but it's a great way for new homeowners to start to pay the mortgage. The best benefit of house hacking is that you're living in a home where you have a tenant living with you who can pay you some of the monthly rent, which actually becomes some of your mortgage payment. That way you don't have to take on the entire payment yourself. Now, it can seem a little bit scary. You might think, well, I don't really want to share a house with a tenant. In which case, you can ask yourself if you might have friends that you could rent to or relatives that might rent from you to help you save on some of your mortgage costs. Now, sometimes when you house hack, you can also get a special type of loan. There are new loan programs and startups that are thinking about house hacking in a way where they'll lend you down payment money in order to recoup some of your earned income income from your tenant each time they pay you every month and then you put that towards not only your mortgage but paying back that loan program or that specific startup who's lending you the money at the start. So one thing you need to think about before you go out and look for a home to purchase what you would use for house hacking is that you want to have more than one room. You want to think about your preferences in terms of how many bathrooms you should have if you are okay sharing a bathroom with a tenant or if you want your own bathroom. Do you want both of the bedrooms on the same floor or sharing a wall, or would you prefer that they're separate? These are just a few questions to ask yourself as you start to go forward. Now, in Washington State, I would recommend that you have a property manager help you help guide you through the process of finding a tenant because there are a lot of tenant laws in common that protect the tenant. Once you have that tenant in place, you can start to set up a payment system where you get paid every single month as their rent, and then you can put that towards your mortgage. One other question you might be is how much can I make on a tenant renting out a room? Well, it really depends on the neighborhood and the size of your room and what other amenities are part of your home. If that tenant has their own bathroom connected to the room, you might be able to charge a premium for that. But if you're in a more popular neighborhood, you could also charge more for that. So the price that you're able to charge a tenant for a single room or a single room plus a bathroom will vary based on where you are. Now, some tenants want to live in sort of a condo building and some want to live in more of a single family home with other people. So you'll have to think about that and your preferences as well as the type of tenant you want to attract. So there you have it. That's house hacking in a nutshell. Now, if you have any questions about house hacking, feel free to reach out to me. You can always comment on this video or DM me. We're doing a giveaway. The giveaway instructions are in the description below. If you comment and tag someone or share this video, you can be entered into a contest to win our drawing prize at the end of the month. All you have to do is take action within one week that this video is posted. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and comment on this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd love to have you following us. See you next week.